So now we're going to be looking at our annelid dissection. So we'll need our dissecting pan, our annelid or earthworm that has been preserved. Please don't do this on a live one. Um, gloves, forceps, um, scalpel, and our dissecting probes. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is identify the dorsal versus the ventral side. Remember, ventral is your bottom or stomach side. And on the earthworm, that's going to be flattened and a little bit lighter. So it's a little bit hard to tell, but here we can see this is our ventral side and this is our dorsal side. All right, so let's look at the ventral side first. Um, the first thing we want to do is find the anterior or the head of our earthworm. Um, and you can find this by looking for the prostomium, which is going to be this fleshy lobe, let me point it out for you, right here, that's going to extend over the mouth. Um, and the other end of the worm is going to be our posterior end, where the anus is located down here. All right. So if we look at our earthworm, we can see, and this is a little bit easier to see on the dorsal side actually, our clitellum, which is going to be from about segment 33 to 37. And again, you can count the segments if you start all the way up um, at the prostomium and go 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So again, this is our clitellum right here. After that, um, we can look for our sperm groups that grooves, excuse me, that start from the clitellum and go all the way up to about segment 15, which is right here for our male genital pores. And these are larger openings that are easy to see. Um, again, at segment 14, you should have female genital pores as well. These are about a little bit harder to locate, though. There's another pair of male genital pores right about here um, around segment 26. Um, and you can try to find two pairs of openings of the seminal receptacles on segment 10. And again, these are not very easy to see. So you can try to look for them, not necessarily going to find them. Now we're going to look at our interior organs. Um, so you want to turn the worm dorsal side up, so the dark side facing up. Um, and we're going to be cutting along the post cutting at the posterior end along the dorsal surface. So from here this way. And Remember, uh, an earthworm skin and muscles are really, really thin, so all you need is a really shallow cut. You can use the forceps, forceps and the scalpel and can kind of spread the incision open little by little. So let's right, work so on that. So one way to do this is to use pins to kind of hold your earthworm down. And remember, we we're going to be cutting on the dorsal side. Now it's important that you start at the posterior end um, because what's down there is just intestine. Um, it's nothing really important that we want to look at. Everything like our esophagus, our crop, that's going to be up here by the anterior end. So we want to start way below the clitellum down here. And you can do a few practice cuts down here. And you want to cut very shallowly with your scalpel. Make sure you cut away from you, not towards you. When you're cutting, you only want to go slightly into the earthworm. And as you go, you can either open it up with forceps, uh, like these guys right here, or um, just very sharp little scissors. And you can cut as you go through. And let me open up what I've done so far up here. And you can see the intestines as we go through. See, um, If you go too far, you might pierce the intestines and topsoil will come out, which is just this black gooey stuff. Um, and if you want, you can use more pins to kind of pin your earthworm open as you go through. As you get to the clitellum, though, be very careful not to cut through any of the other organs. Alright, so I've opened up my earthworm. Now, some of these structures may be a little difficult for you guys to see on film. That's why I want you to do it for yourself in class. But as we go through, let me show you some of the important structures. Um, so up here, we will have our mouth and our brain, and which will go down the nerve cord, which you can't see right now. Um, but let's talk about the top of the, di the digestive system. Um, so over here, we have our esophagus, which you can kind of see on the camera. And then you're going to go down um, to the squishy piece right here, which is the crop, if you can feel it. And the next thing is a little bit harder, and that is going to be our gizzard. And behind the gizzard, we're going to have the beginnings of a really long intestine right here. All right, now some of the other structures we can observe, if we move away these cream things, which are seminal vesicles, we might be able to see some of our aortic arches, which are part of our hearts. Um, and so they'll be underneath these if you kind of tease them out of there. And they'll be dark brown. And again, this might be a little bit difficult for you guys to see on camera, but we have one right here. There's a nice one um, that you can look at on your own worm dissection. So there you go, they're aortic arches or parts of the heart. 
So that's all we're going to do on the video part of the dissection. I know it's a little hard to see now, so it's best if you try it in class or look at another group that's working on the earthworm. Um, so follow along in your worksheet, and when you're finished with your earthworm dissection, make sure you wash all your materials, clean everything up, and dispose of the earthworm properly. Alright, see you later.